Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! Всем привет и добро пожаловать на мой канал! I'm Rima and here we learn German together. This is experimental video. So I'd like you to tell me the truth after watching. What do you think about it? Это экспериментальное видео, где я буду говорить на трех языках. I know that many of you want to learn Russian, and I am Russian. И если ты хочешь выучить немецкий, но пока хорошо понимаешь только русский, тогда это видео как раз для тебя, потому что сегодня я буду переводить русские идиомы на английский и немецкий. So you can practice three languages at the same time. In this video, I will show you five Russian idioms, explain them in English and translate into German. А весело это будет? I just wanted to have fun here. The first idiom is Вертеться как белка в колесе. Literally, to turn as a squirrel in a wheel. Which means to be very busy and active. Вертеться как белка в колесе. In English, you would say to be busy as a bee. And in German, Weder hast noch ruh kennen. Не знать ни отдыха, ни покоя. To know neither rest nor peace. Weder hast noch ruh kennen. Russian idiom number two. Ведь веревки из кого-либо. To plait ropes out of someone. English equivalent. To twist someone round one's little finger. Not this, this. This means to gain complete control or dominance over someone. Make them do whatever you wish. Jemanden um den kleinen Finger wickeln. Abmatat kavoliba vakruk mizinza. The kleine finger, little finger, or pinky. Mizinz. Number three. Vadit kavoliba zanas. To lead someone by the nose. In English, some people would say to draw the wool over the eyes. Натянуть шерсть на глаза. If you say that someone is pulling the wool over your eyes, you mean that they are trying to deceive you in order to have an advantage over you. And in German, it sounds like Jemanden an der Nase herumführen. Vadit kavoli bazanas. Jemanden an der Nase herumführen. Herumführen, abvadit, visti vakruk, to lead around. Number four. Volasy stanovetsa dibam. One's hair stands on end. This means to cause fright or terror in someone. Just hearing his voice makes my hair stand on end. You can also know it as one's hair stands like a mountain. Jemandem stehen die Haare zu Berge. Волосы становятся горой или волосы стоят в горах? Диберга – горы, which is plural, 
and singular is gara, the back, mountain, di haare, volasse, which is plural, and we also have a singular volas. Moment. Probably you can see nothing in here, but there it is. Volas. And the last Russian idiom for today is Dusha ushla v pyatke. One's soul has gone into one's heels. In English, probably you would hear it as one's heart sank into one's boot. Сердце опустилось в ботинке. This idiom is used to express a feeling of sudden sadness or dismay. Das Herz ist in die Hose gefallen. The heart fell down in the trousers. Сердце упало в брюки. Итак, сегодня мы выучили пять идиом на трех языках. Не забудь поделиться со мной своими впечатлениями. Don't forget to tell me what you think of this type of learning. And actually, I want to know what is your native language and for which language you are here. Буду рада увидеться вновь. Take care, have fun and choose. Das Herz, das Herz, das Herz, das Herz, das Herz, das Herz, das Herz ist <lacht> Puh, herumführen.